So now we'll talk about adding custom styling to the platform. First, we have to talk about SCSS, which is Sassy CSS. In LifeRay 7.2, the clay base is built on Bootstrap and converts less to SAS to use specifically SCSS partials, as well as other SAS features, including Bourbon, which is built using SAS, so you have access to predefined mixing libraries so you can import them without having to redefine them by yourself. We then have LifeRay's experience language, which is Lexicon. The main SCSS file is deployed, which imports all the other partials in order. You have imports, base and portal are pretty commonly seen and modified. You also have navigation that we were talking about earlier. And then we see at the very bottom, we're importing custom, and this is where we put our custom stylings. Since the custom SCSS is being imported at the end of the file, all of the customized code will take precedence if it's added there. If it has the same definition as another styling, the styling in customs, because it's being imported at the end, it will override all of the previous definitions. Well, then we have some SAS features. So SAS benefits developers by allowing them to include the following in their CSS. You have variables, so this gives developers the ability to store and reuse code. You also have mix-ins, so you give the ability to group CSS declarations and reuse the group, especially outside of classes without using inheritance. And so there, there are some really powerful and practical benefits to having mix-ins. You also have extending an inheritance. So this allows developers to share properties between selectors and then nesting. So developers can nest CSS selectors in a way that follows the same visual structure of HTML. And finally, you have operators, and this gives developers the ability to do math operations within their CSS. So we now come to custom, and this is the CSS source file for adding custom global styling. You put them in the custom partial. Now clay-based components, they can be modified by customizing the component partial file, and custom partial files can also be made to modularize custom CSS in a theme. So on the right, you see we have different partials for each of the different components, so such as buttons, the footer, the nav bar, and variables. If you customize the styling for each of these partials or each of these components, then we will be able to see the different changes reflected only in that component, but not globally. So once modified, partial files, they can be then imported into the custom SCSS. And if we do that at the end, then these new definitions will override the old ones.